Polycystic ovary syndrome is a constellation of symptoms, rather than a disease. The cause or causes are not entirely understood. In a normal menstrual cycle, the brain makes the hormone GnRH, which travels into the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland then releases two hormones, FSH, follicle-stimulating hormone, and LH, luteinizing hormone, which travel in the bloodstream to the ovary. These hormones cause about 6 to 12 follicles to be awake and start to mature. As they are going to mature, they release estrogen hormone and cause the lining of the uterus to begin to build up. Then one of those follicles tends to grow a little faster and becomes dominant. Then this dominant follicle moves to the edge of the ovary to produce an egg. After the egg is released, the follicle then seals over and is called the corpus luteum. The corpus luteum starts producing progesterone. This progesterone has a negative feedback effect on the GnRH to reduce it and keep its frequency in a normal range. Other follicles disintegrate in the next few days. This egg then travels to the uterus. If fertilized, it stays in the uterus. But if not fertilized, it will disintegrate after about 24 hours and the woman will have a regular menstrual period. One of the primary abnormality in PCOS is the abnormal release of GnRH. Instead of being released in a regular cyclic manner, for an unknown reason, it is released at a higher pulse frequency. This increased pulse frequency leads to an increase in LH over FSH. This lower FSH causes follicle, not maturing enough to become functional, and can't ovulate. If the follicle does not ovulate, a corpus luteum is not created, and without a corpus luteum, there is no surge in progesterone. The lack of progesterone leads to a higher pulse frequency, seen in PCOS. The follicles that don't ovulate are cysts that form on the ovary with PCOS. Multiple cysts on the ovary represent past failed follicular ovulation events and are characteristic of PCOS. Also, excessive LH levels stimulate the theca cells to produce higher amounts of male sex hormones, androgens, or testosterone, which leads to other PCOS symptoms like hirsutism, acne, menstrual irregularity due to hormone imbalances, and infertility because there is no ovulation. Insulin also plays a vital role in PCOS. It is released from the pancreas. Insulin can affect the theca cells of the ovary and cause even more androgen release. The high amounts of androgen cause decreased sensitivity to insulin and cause insulin resistance. With insulin resistance, more insulin is released from the pancreas and causes even more androgens. The whole process is one big vicious cycle. This can lead to a condition called prediabetes or even diabetes. Having a healthy lifestyle, getting plenty of exercises, weight loss, good sleep. Also, discontinuing smoking are the foundations of PCOS treatment. There are also medical treatments available for polycystic ovary symptoms, and should be given by a specialist under close supervision.